द हिस्ट्री ऑफ नेटिविटी ऑफ अवर ब्लेसड मदर द कैथोलिक चर्च सेलिब्रेट्स द बर्थ ऑफ द ब्लेसड वर्जिन मेरी ऑन इट्स ट्रेडिशन फिक्सड डेट ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर एट नाइन मंथ्स आफ्टर द डिसम्बर एट सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ हर इमैक्युलेट कंसेप्शन आई वॉन्ट से स्मॉल फैक्ट हियर दैट इज इमैक्युलेट कंसेप्शन इज नॉट रिफेक्ट ओनली टू जीसस even saint anne was conceived without sin coming to the story the circumstances of the virgin mary's infancy and early child life are not directly recorded in the bible but other documents and traditions describing the circumstances of her birth are cited by some of the earliest christians writers from the first century of the holy church the proto evangelium of james which was probably put into its final written form in the early 2nd century describes mother mary's father jochem as a wealthy member of one of the 12 tribes of israel saint jochem was deeply grieved along with his wife saint anne by their childlessness he always called in mind abraham the early christian writing which says that in the last day god gave him a son isaac saint jochem always thinks of it and always wanted to happen that to him so saint jochem and saint anne begin to devote themselves extensively and rigorously to prayer and fasting but turned out was the couple were to be blessed even more abundantly than abraham and sarah as an angel appeared to her when she was fasting and praying and the angel said to her the lord had heard your prayer and you shall conceive and shall bring forth and your seed shall be spoken of in all the whole world these are the words said the angel said to saint anne after mother mary's birth according to the proto evangelium of james saint anne made a sanctuary in the infant girl's room and allowed nothing common or unclean on account of the special holiness of the child the same writing records that when she was 1 year old her father made a great feast and invited the priests and the scribes and the elders and all the people of israel and saint jochem brought the child to the priests the account continues these are the words that the priests said and they blessed her saying o god of our our fathers bless this child and give her an everlasting name to be named in all generations and he brought her to the chief priests and they blessed her saying o god most high look upon this child and bless her with the utmost blessing which shall be forever and today that blessing was the most great most beautiful our holy mother mother mary So this was how Mother Mary was brought into this world by our Lord through her parents holy parents So this was the story of how our mother was born Thanks for watching